This might look like an AI generated video of a jet made out of rubber bouncing like a ball, but what if I told you it's real? I'm an aerospace engineer and World War II proved that aircraft carriers were now more important than battleships, but they faced a new challenge, jets. These fuel thirsty engines promised incredible performance, but earlier carrier jets were cramped. Designers struggled to pack engine, fuel, and equipment into tiny airframes, and the landing gear alone ate up precious space and weight. So British engineers had an idea. Since jets had no propeller to damage, why not eliminate the landing gear entirely? Entirely. Aircraft could belly land on a flexible rubber deck with a single arresting wire. After landing, the aircraft would be towed onto trolleys and moved off the deck. Over 200 landings proved it worked and even the US Navy was intrigued. So they built their own rubber deck for testing. But there was a crucial flaw. These aircraft could only operate from rubber decks. Plus, as jets evolved to be bigger, heavier, and more complex, the weight savings became less significant while the tow and trolley operations remained a logistical challenge. By 1953, the bouncing runway was abandoned for better innovations. Angled decks and steam catapults that revolutionized carrier aviation.